My wife and I have a very simple thing every morning. I want to encourage you with a personal testimony. I wake up in the morning. I'm an early morning person. My wife is a late night owl. She can stay up till late. I can. After 11 o'clock, I'm gone. I'm tired. But I'm an early morning person. I wake up early in the morning. I get a personal time with God. She wakes up a little later. Gets a personal time with God. We made a special plan. After breakfast, we spend time in prayer. It's not long. It's maybe 15 minutes. We may read a daily bread. We may read a psalm. We may read a passage of scripture. Five minutes. But we will get together to pray. Sometimes our prayer times will go for 25 minutes. We kind of be just happy to be together praying. We get on the knees, stay on the bed, and just pray together. What a joy. What a joy for us as a couple to be connected and talk to Jesus, talk to the Lord. What an absolute joy. And over the years, we've prayed about everything, everything, because we have needs. The big deals, the big things, small things, everything in between. I'll never forget the one time when we were first married, we had a, uh, we rented a little one bedroom hall kitchen, a small place. We were getting married in three months time. And all we had was a rented place, no furniture, zero furniture. We began to pray somehow that God would get the money for furniture. Within a month from praying, an aunt of ours who was going overseas said, I want to give you all our furniture. And all of a sudden we had beds and fridges and desks and dining tables. Everything that a house would need came into that home. We realized that from that day onwards, there was never going to be a need as long as we knew who to go to. There was never going to be a need because we knew the Lord. And over the years, whenever there are troubles, whenever there's something we cannot handle, we go to God in prayer. So the first thing I want to say to you, and many of these men know that, this is how we build our families. Here are some ideas to help you prayer time. First of all, make a commitment to pray daily. Can I encourage the husbands to take the lead here? Okay, husbands. Well, kind of, I'll tell you what happens as husbands. Husbands normally are like project oriented. Then we wake up in the morning. We know there's a hundred details at work. So we wake up in the morning and we just kind of like, we got, okay, we got our morning time devotion all done. We're happy. We're happy. Uh, now we just want to run to the office. You know? But we are the coverings for our family. We're, we've got the broad shoulders. God gave us the shoulders to carry the extra burdens. You understand? Now, wives need that initiation of prayer. We are the spiritual heads of the home. And if we want a connection with our wives, it just goes on and on and on in the years to come, on the deepest level. What happens when we haven't prayed? I'll tell you something often. We get irritated with each other. We focus on all the silly things. You left the towel out. You didn't close the door. You didn't do this. You didn't do that. You didn't, after you do that for five days together, guess what? All of a sudden, like you're just far away from the relationship that you wanted with your wife. But if you pray together, chances are you're going to get up from that time. You're going to really start valuing and loving each other, right? I find out when I get up from my time of prayer, I value my wife more than ever. We love each other more than ever. And that's all 15 minutes of wonderful time of connecting with God did for both of us.